The defending Miami Heat Eastern Conference champs have been dealt a difficult hand with injuries and coronavirus, but even then, not quite look what we expected. Take a look at the standings. They currently sit in seventh place. Of course, they're only a game out of fourth, as we discussed in the previous segment. Everyone's tied in the Eastern Conference virtually. So, Richard, let's start with you. Panic or patience? And I do want to just say this. Part of the panic would be we got to make a move at the trade deadline, not panic. We're going to throw out the roster. No, I think this is patience for the Miami Heat. They've always been a patient organization, so nothing is going to change at this oh, point in time. For the, I know it's beautiful music. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I need to get that when I'm walking around. Mm -hmm. But uh, the reason why I think is I, I think that they had, they had, they weathered the storm. Into a room. Yeah, they weathered the storm. Harps play. Not having a guy like Jay Crowder, not having guys like that in your locker room. You see the impact that he had in Phoenix. They needed extra bodies. They didn't have them. But look, I with mean, this Butler, is the, this with is the Butler, stat, right? they're great. Without Butler, you know, they struggle. Another Jimmy Butler, other There's than only one Jimmy Butler, yeah. so yeah. I think it's patience. Yeah, their roster, you know, they're young. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, 90% of their roster is on their rookie deal probably still. <laughs> I mean, they have time. I mean, I think you have to coincide it with Jimmy Butler's age, and you got to figure, Jimmy Butler has a lot of years left in the tank. Mm -hmm. You know, when healthy, he's one of the best in the league. And, you yeah, know, man. these other guys, they're young. They're getting better. Bam, he's become a, an all-star in this league. You, you know, you got to expect him to get back to the all-star game eventually. Maybe he's one of the snubs this year. Yeah. And so it's nothing but patience here in Miami. You know, they, they were ahead of a curve last year. Nobody mm -hmm. saw them getting to yeah. the finals. And so, except uh, for Jimmy Butler. Except for Jimmy Butler. I mean, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So it's a lot of patience uh, that they need down there in Miami. Uh, all right, I'm kind of going to mess up producer Danny's game a little bit. Can I say ponder? No, no, that's not one of them. That's not one of them. Only, one of them. only no, this. Not I would ponder a trade for Victor Oladipo since it seems he is going to be available. I no. would just think about it and the see what the would price be is. Otherwise, maybe you try to sign him Tyler this offseason. Tyler Hero. Patience, We're just going to be you know, Duncan Robinson. Ponder. Nope. Next up, the Tampa Bay Raptors. All, although maybe the championship time will wear off on them. Everyone's a champion in Tampa. Um, this team started 2-8, and eight, but they're slowly climbing their way back to 500. We all know this is a good team. They just haven't quite looked like the Raptors we've expected. So here's another look at the standings. They're 17 and 17, a very claustrophobic 4 through 10 in the East. Paul, you've watched a lot of Toronto this year. Are you yeah. panic or patience? This is a panic for me. Yeah. This is a panic into patience because I think you have to find a way to get some value for Kyle Lowry. As they're getting older, this team is not a championship team as built. Mm -hmm. And so if you could try to get some value He's uh, on an expiring for Kyle contract. Lowry, and, and that's what I'm saying. You make a trade uh, and do uh, Kyle Lowry ad uh, adjust mm -hmm. and, and get him on a team where he could probably try to win another championship. But then it turns into patience because you get some young assets to build around Siakam and Van Vliet and move forward with this franchise uh, to build their way back into a championship contender. I'm going to say panic also. Uh, mm. I, I think, you know, I, no one questions what Masai is planning. You know he's planning something. Mm -hmm. But I, I think right now you talk about windows, and we're going to mention that a bunch. I think the window for this team currently constructed to contend for a conference finals is gone. Okay. So it's kind of like sell high. Right. If we can get some picks for this. I'm not like, you have great pieces still. You know, there is no window for Van Vliet. There is no window for Siakam. Yeah. But there is a window to, to get Kyle. value from Kyle. And so yeah. I think you do that. You start not rebuilding, but reloading. Right, but right now you got to give up some assets before you move forward. Well, look, and Masai, as we've seen, is a pragmatist, right? I mean, we know what happened with DeMar DeRozan, and when he sees something that's going to improve his team, he goes for it. I will say this. If you look at the teams around the league who are positioned to maybe get Kyle Lowry to make that offer, you know who maybe the best position team is who? with the assets? Who? The Philadelphia 76ers, friends. Ooh. Do you know where Kyle Lowry is from? Philly. Phil Philadelphia. Well, Nova All boy. Right. Next, everyone's favorite bubble team, the Denver Nuggets. Despite an MVP caliber season from Jokic so far, they just have not looked again like the team that we thought was ready to take the next step. So here's where they stack up in the West. 20 and 15. They are seventh in the West right now. What do you think? Panic? Patience, Paul? I mean, they lost. You know, what do you think? This is a panic button for me. I mean, you talk about a team that was in the conference finals mm -hmm. a, a year ago. And now you have Joker playing at an all-time high level at the center, um, something we haven't seen in, in many, many years. Uh, 
you got to be able to keep this guy happy moving forward because as you know, you start wasting years like this that Joker's having, and the only reason he won't get MVP this year is because their team is not going to be in the top four of the conference. And so if there's a move out there you can make to vault this team back into the top four, I think you got to do it. And that may mean sacrificing Jamal Murray. Uh, Jamal Murray? What? I, I mean, you mean if like you can, Porter Jr.? Listen, if you could get a bill for Murray, would you do it? I mean, come on. It's something you have to think about because they're not going to just... I mean, he has value, and that's this is not a knock on Jamal Murray, but you know he, he has value over there. No, the, look, the, the and Michael Porter Jr. Of, we yeah. don't know who he's going to be yet, and so if you want something, you got to give something. If you want to take that next step, it's going to cost you. you. No, no, no. <laughs> like respectfully, you, you to, from, respectfully to the Hall of Famer next to me. Mm -hmm. Like it, this is this is a patience moment, right? They have been progressing every single year. I understand they had to shorten off season. They they've. Uh, you know, look, Jamal got off to a slow start. He's been playing well of late. Joker's playing at a high level. But ultimately, these guys are still, like, 25 years old. So your window for them to be great is still another seven, eight years. Yes. So, and you know, and Michael Porter Jr. is young. They got R.J. Hampton on their bench. They, uh, you know, I, I like Zeke Najee. They have a ton of talent. So there's no, hey, when you look at the San Antonio Spurs over the Tim Duncan 20 years. There were years that they were first. There were years that they were seventh. There were years that they were eighth. There were years that they were third. Mm -hmm. So it was just like there's going to be years where you have up and down when you have talented young players stay pat because they're still in the postseason. They got off to a slow start. So this is patience. So you think that Murray can be that Robin for Joker? A hundred percent. I think he oh. still He's has room to grow. He's got right. room to grow. Right? He's, and, and he just had a 50 ball with no free throws, which is the craziest stat I've still ever career, seen. At this point in his career, you thought he'd be an all-star by now. Agreed. Yes. You thought he'd be Although in an all-star game. And he's, uh, and he's yeah. a great player in this league. Yeah. yeah. But you thought at this point his development. But if you look at his stats for the last three years, he hasn't got that much better. Can I, Director Kathy, can we get the patience harps one more time? I, can we get those? No, I got no argument that. with you there. There we go. But can not that much the... better. He's still a 20-point elite point, like point guard score. He might just be outside the all-star no group. He might just, just be completely. outside the top seven. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.